and thank you very much for coming to this uh, screen recording about how to add cows on your OpenShift cluster. In this case, I'm going to use MiniShift, which is a um, yeah, it's like a, a local installation of um, OpenShift cluster. And basically, the tool that I'm going to present you for adding cows is Pumba. Pumba is a um, cows testing for containers. Basically, it randomly kills, stops, or uh, removes uh, containers from your cluster and also allows you to do some kind of network emulation. For example, for adding some uh, latency between network communications or packet loss or whatever. Um, first of all, before uh, showing you how to install Pumba on the OpenShift cluster, you need to do some kind of modifications regarding security of OpenShift. This is something that is not required by if you are going to use Kubernetes, but since the OpenShift takes into consideration seriously the uh, security, you need to enable some um, elements. So the first thing that you need to do is just run um, this uh, command, which basically allows a, a developer user, which is the default uh, one in MinShift, to uh, uh, to uh, run cluster administration um, operations, and this is required because um, Pumba uh, is installed as a daemon set, which basically what it does a daemon set is just install automatically to all your cluster. So you don't need to install Pumba in all of the Docker host that you are running, but daemon set just do it for you automatically. But since it's OpenShift, you need to allow developer to do that. The next thing that you need to do is um, set that the fastest test namespace, this is fastest test namespace, is the namespace that I use for this demo to run um, pods in the, in, the, in the privilege mode. So to do that, you just need to do OCIDM policy, ADDSCC to user privilege, and then the, um, the fastest test namespace. And finally, the last thing that you need to do is just um, allow OpenShift to, um, to let the pod connect to the Docker socket. And to do this, you just need to do OC um, edit SCC restricted and change this first allow host dear volume plugin from false to true. Now it's true because I've already said it before, but what you need to do is just change this default value that it's false, so you need to change it to true. And that's all. Then <coughs> I've got here uh, the OpenShift running without uh, anything. And then here is the Pumba cube YAML, which is the file that it's used for installing Pumba on all your OpenShift cluster. Notice that this is not the default Pumba QVML file provided by the Pumba project because you need to do some modifications to run it on, on OpenShift. The first one is that you need to separate the command from the arguments. The second one is that you need to allow this pod to run as user zero. And in this case, I'm just configuring Pumba to kill containers containing the hello or name it hello in, in a random uh, way. So you can go here and then do your just OC create this and then if you check the OpenShift console you'll see here that the Pumba it's created a few seconds ago and if you go here in logs you see that it's already running but if you check my um, pods, you see that there is only the Pumba pod running there, trying to find any container to kill it. But there is no pod named hello. So let's create one pod called hello. Actually, what I'm going to do is just using the, the um, hello open shape with four replicas. And notice that the name is hello, so it means that it's eligible to be killed by this cows tool. So I run it. You can see here that it's creating uh, all the containers and without restarts. 
And if I'm, I'm going here, let's wait a bit, like 30 seconds at the worst case, and you see this like an error message, but um, saying that, hey, something is happening. Like, notice that it says something has failed. But then, since it's a really quick uh, pot, it's just started really fast, you don't see how the pot is from three to four. But if you go to um, monitoring, you can see all the pods. And if you go to application pods, notice that here, this pod has been restarted one. You can wait a bit, I mean that 30 more seconds, and we will see that another pod will be restarted again. At this, at this time, it's exactly the same, so it's restarted twice. But if we wait here more and more, at the very end, all the um, pods are killed uh, randomly. And that's all. Thank you very much.